Hey everybody, welcome back. Absolutely not. Watch my car and wedding cake get stolen. No, babe, no, no. Come with me to not only get my car stolen, but also the wedding cake I had just made. Who so here I am the putting the cake? cake in an insulated box in the back. Um, unless y'all have delivered wedding cakes in the Texas heat, do not come at me for needing to keep my car on. It is hot as hell outside and I can't lock my car while it's on. So I go inside for one minute to grab my water and my lunch. And mind you, I'm parked right outside my bakery. It's broad daylight and we do have cameras. And these two little heads see my car running. But at this point I'm walking out the door and I do see the boys hop in the car. And here I come. Whee! So here's a hilarious screenshot of me thinking <laughs> I can stop the power of a car by the handles. We do try to track my phone, but they chunk it out the window. That's fun. So one of my friends is a police officer giving me live updates. They end up finding the car about three hours later. And yes, they caught the guys also. But because it was an insulated box, I really hope the cake was going to be okay. Please, please let the cake be okay. Here's to being hopeful. So here's my car getting towed back to me. They did chunk the keys. By the time we were able to check on the cake, this is what it looked no! like. Ugh, my heart sank. No! So while my little cousin ate the messed up cake, I salvaged what I could to fix up the rest <laughs> of it. And honestly, it didn't look too bad for only having 30 minutes. Okay, okay. They did have a backup plan, but I was determined to get there. I hauled ass and got there exactly at 6 o'clock for when the ceremony started. Here's a picture of the couple okay, who honestly okay. were so shocked I brought anything. They were mainly glad I was okay. So now we all have a crazy story to tell, and you'd never know the cake was even stolen. Oh my goodness. It's the cousin eating the cake that got destroyed for me. <laughs> Why let that perfectly good cake go to waste? It might not be cute enough for a wedding, but it's cute enough for me. What an inopportune time to get robbed, honestly. That's the sirens coming for those robbers. Who steals a car with a wedding cake in it? I'm sure they didn't know, but like, I doubt that that would deter them. Woman leaves nail salon without paying, assaults the nail tech. This girl came to my nail salon and tried to leave without paying. Oh, I think this actually happened in Toronto. Oh, it did, it did, it really did. Salon and tried to leave without paying. When I confronted her and asked her to come back inside and pay, she physically assaulted me. She ended up getting away without paying. Even though she hit me I'm asking her to stop and pay. She ended up dropping her phone and I picked it up. We still have it. I called the police, Whoa, the but it took marks. so long. Girl, police is looking for you. Whoever can identify her, please DM me at alexvu.nails. We will give you a free nail set at Savage Nails Lounge. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. All of that for a free set of nails, eh? If you dusty, just say that, okay? Out here, stealing from, like, hardworking citizens, just trying to get by. All because you wanted a free set of nails. Well, you lost your phone, too, so... Probably wasn't worth it in the end. This video's everywhere. How has she not been caught yet? Because she changed her wig. <laughs> Wow. Our nail shops make us pay before we're done. Uh, I mean, I've never heard that before. I'm not sure I would be okay with that because what if it sucks? Like, what if your nails are, like, not like you would ever say anything anyway. Even if the nails are awful, I never say anything. Ever. You could glue hot dogs to my hands and I'll still be like, Oh, that's so beautiful. Gorgeous. And I'll tip. Imagine wanting a manicure so badly that you're willing to do that. Like, it's not that serious. You also inadvertently gave her weapons, you know? Cause now she's got the claws. It's gonna be an absolutely not from me. Okay, I've never got my eyebrows ever like touched by anybody professional, only myself and I fucked them up real bad. Um, but I'm going to get them laminated right now. So BRB with the results, I might want to die after. Stop, no, no babe, no. Oh, oh, <laughs> not me thinking, oh, I might go get my eyebrows laminated. Not anymore. Not anymore. They were perfect before. They were literally perfect. What the hell is that? Uh, this coming from a girl who put videos on the internet with laminated brows that I did myself during COVID. With millions of views. 
It was a sad day, a sad time, a sad, sad time. Like they didn't even shape them. Like what the hell is going on? Oh, I just wanna pluck it. I wanna pluck it. Come over, I'll pluck your eyebrows. I can't believe this happened on a cruise ship. So our neighbors over here, I don't know if you can see right there. They have a hot tub on their balcony because it's one no. of the suites here on the ship. Um, I think they might've gotten a little cray cray on the bubble bath because it is all over our balcony. It looks like snow. Who puts bubble bath in a hot tub? I'm gonna call it whipped cream. <laughs> I don't know if they know that it's getting so all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so we definitely had a good laugh, but you guys, if you have a jacuzzi on your balcony, just take it easy on the bubble bath. <laughs> Never have I seen this before in 20 years of cruising. I didn't even know that it was recommended to put bubble bath in a jacuzzi. I feel like that's a no. I feel like that's a no on all fronts. You know, I think it's quite easy for the bubbles to get out of control, you know, because it's like constant jets and bubbles and, and skin cells and, and all that fun stuff mixing in. I can see why you wanted some bubbles, babe. I can save it for the bathtub. Influencer reveals why she stalked three footballers. The influencer who was sentenced for stalking three Premier League footballers has now said why she did it. Orla Sloan, who called herself Devil Baby, used 21 phone numbers to stalk Chelsea player Mason Mount for four months. She also stalked Billy Gilmore and harassed Ben Chilwell. She has now said she did it because she was lonely, that she felt sad about being on hands and putting herself out there to never have a real connection back. She finally said she thought that her and Mount would have had a relationship and she regrets everything she did. Oh my, what a beautiful girl. What a beautiful lady. And what a shame. Just a word of advice, babe. I'm not shaming anybody's life choices. If you want to make your bag, go ahead. But there's other ways to put yourself out there other than OF and stalking. You look like you could date a footballer. Like you really, really could. You're that pretty. Also, the name Devil Babies also <laughs> kind of... I could see how that would deter people. Like, I do. The Devil's Baby is not the first choice of name for me. Take an Uber in Costa Rica, they said. It will be fine, they said. Oh, $29,000! Oh no, no, indeed. Oh no, no, indeed. How do we just accidentally charge $30,000? And not a lot of credit cards would allow that charge. That's a big charge for Uber. That should set off some red flags. I swear, the bank always calls when it's something like so dumb, like, yes, yes, I am purchasing that elephant. Thank you. No, I'm kidding. They always call in the, at the most inopportune times. It's like, yes, I know I'm spending. I, I, I bought some things, I was depressed. But then it doesn't block the $29, $30,000 charge from Uber. What Uber would charge $30,000? Wouldn't that like raise some red flags? Just a couple, a couple of red flags. Where did you take the Uber? The moon? Did someone drive you to Mars? Okay, then $30,000 does not sound legit. Anyways, I'm in Guatemala. This country is so beautiful. This volcano over that way-ish has been erupting every like 15 minutes. <laughs> going back and forth at the bank for several days they basically told me that there was nothing that they can do about it until about five days i constantly was demanding to speak to somebody higher up at my credit union after about four days of having no funds in guatemala i wasn't able to withdraw any money all of a sudden the charge was fixed the charge was reversed um i ended up getting all of my money back yay um, obviously i had a lot to say to them because i have a daily period debit card limit literally and and this bypassed all of the security measures that were in place with my bank. It's amazing that you had to go through all of that just so that they would reverse a $30,000 charge. That shouldn't have been charged in the first place. And that was a debit charge. Now you can just go and enjoy that beautiful volcano that's erupting very, very close to you.
17 bottles, ooh, of herbal essences. Ooh. I'm about to fake a family emergency and dip. <laughs> that is a little too much. A little too much herbal essences. And they're all like partially used as well. Like, uh, God, the Virgo in me just wants to like, I want to grab a funnel and I want to pour it into the bottle that is empty kind of, and then you should do that with all of them so that there's only five bottles. And even then that's too many bottles of herbal essences. Body envy. There's nothing envious about this. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind needs that many bottles of herbal essences. I know that like it's a big joke on the internet to make fun of women and their icks and how easily we get the ick, but like, come on, this is like serial killer <coughs> shit, right? Why do you need that many bottles? Why aren't you throwing them away when they're finished? Recycling, sorry, sorry, recycle, recycling. He is simply a serial killer and you cannot convince me otherwise. Everyone always says, go to the Goodwill bins. You'll get so much good stuff for cheap. What they don't tell you is you could get hand, foot and mouth disease like I did two weeks ago from digging around in the bins for four ah. hours. I didn't even know adults could get that. Yeah, they can, they can. You can get kind of all kinds of weird shisa digging through the bins. Yeah. You would think that people would wash their clothes before they donate it, but like, unfortunately there's things like, you know, old people that pass away and then their clothes get donated. Nobody's washing those things. So do we need to be taking gloves with us when we go vintage shopping now? Cause new fear unlocked. Absolutely not. No, babe, no. Absolutely not with a cherry on top. Thank you, phone case, for saving my phone's life. Wait. Oh, oh, it's, is that your face? Oh, sh- <laughs> Ah, yeah. I was so happy for you for a second. I was so happy. And then, and then you ruined it. I was literally about to go into Amazon and buy one of those things for the back of my phone. Aren't they supposed to stay there? <laughs> Is that you or a member of BTS? I feel like that's Jimin, right? Is that Jimin? It would make more sense if it was a member of BTS. I'm getting notifications that my card in the car is being used. I think our car got robbed. I'm gonna check it, I'm gonna check it. Okay, so apparently our car, my car was robbed, but I deactivated all my cards, so it's all frozen I now. love that you're so still there. I think we're done. I didn't lose any money. They just took the cards. I don't, I don't. <laughs> okay, but what would you do in that situation? It's ironic that there was K-pop right after I talked about Jimin. But being at a K-pop concert is sounds a lot more fun than going and chasing after someone who robbed you and stole your car. Cause frankly, you're not gonna catch them. You're not gonna catch them. Leave it to the police and enjoy the concert. Enjoy the K-pop. You might as well at that point. YOLO. No hate to the painter at all, but she paid over $1,200 plus travel fees for this painting. It's not a bad painting at all, but... Okay, let's see this painting. <laughs> I, let me go change and I'll bring my groom back. Okay. I'll bring back. Thank you. Is it finished? Maybe it's not done yet. Please tell me that's not finished. Oh dear Lord, I'm gonna go hide in the comments. Like I really don't mean to shame anybody's art, but like for $1,200, uh, yeah, uh, no, it's gonna be a no from me. Let's see what everybody else said. First thing I did was check her website and oof, the gallery of her work is excruciating. Okay, so see with things like this, if you wanna hire an artist to do a live painting at your wedding, we need to check the work beforehand. And if you don't like the work, it's not your style, don't hire them. Thinking about all the money I've missed out on cause I've got a realistic understanding of my abilities. <laughs> Literally, this is kind of like Kate Gate. You guys remember Kate Gate? That girl that was like calling herself a baker and she was just like charging crazy amounts of money for like store-bought cake mix. I'm realizing I'm not nearly delusional enough in my skills. Dude, there are artists that are way better than this that are struggling to make any money. Maybe it's just marketing, baby. That's just the tea. You will miss out on a lot of money because you don't know how to market yourself as an artist. Case in point. All right, save the best for last because I think it's relevant. I'm also looking for a place right now with Mike. And although it hasn't been as bad as this, I can relate. Viewing flats for you and the girlies and this is what's on offer. Is 
that someone still sleeping? Someone's just sleeping as you're viewing the place? Oh god, I swear the audacity of some people and the amount of money they charge for absolute <laughs> poop holes is astounding to me. And you know what? It's an absolutely not! Subscribe!